Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to Midget Games here, and, um, <clears throat> well, this is my kind of six-month channel review slash update. Uh, give everyone who is a subscriber kind of an update what's going on, as well as uh, what to kind of expect in the future. Um, my phone just dinged, I'm sorry. <laughs> Lesson number one, turn your phone off. Um, but... So my first thing I guess I'd like to say, uh, kind of give you guys some updates. Um, when I first started the channel about a month in, I was about 30 seconds watch time per, per view. Um, that since basically essentially doubled, if not tripled, uh, which is good. It's about a minute and a half to two minutes, depending on uh, what you look at as far as videos and stuff. So um, that's really good. That's um, definitely helpful. Um, I, I attribute some of my success to Reddit um, helping me out there. I um, also attribute a just working hard, uploading videos like a regular schedule, and just doing some basic things. Um, I guess I'd say a few things I would do need to work on. Um, definitely uh, presentations, not my strong suit. Uh, I do hope to get better at that. That's something I hope to um, get better at understanding, hey, I need to be funny as my own person, need to express myself better, um, and kind of an insight to that, I was not very expressive as a child or in high school because, well, being expressive means you brought attention to yourself and being attention to yourself was usually a target for people. Um, I was kind of the loner kid in high school, if you didn't catch that drift there. Um, so... There was that. Um, yeah. So, anyways, um, there's some of that. Um, I'm currently sitting at like 3,200 views, which in six months that's about 500 a month, which is, it's not bad. It's consistency, and that's that's what the good thing is. Um, it is going up though. Like my first couple months were more in the three hundreds, and then it kind of hit more in the six hundreds now. So, um, it'll fluctuate. It'll get better as the uh, it goes on. Um, a couple things I'm gonna try to work on in the future. Um, getting more variety. Um, I'm kind of stuck in a little bit of a cycle right now with Overwatch and No Man's Sky, but that's just simply what I'm able to do on short notice. Um, I'm basically doing them on Sunday nights. All my videos have been on Sunday nights to get things done and get them out the door. Um, I do edit during the week, though, so if that is in the indication, I do work on them throughout the week. Um, I haven't decided if I want to... Oh, sorry. A little chilly. <sighs> um, I haven't decided yet if I want to keep doing a... Kind of like a drama... Not drama watch, that's, I hate the word drama. Um, maybe like a YouTube story thing every once in a while. Um, <clears throat> I've done a couple of them with some decent responses. I mean, the big problem is they're clickbaity. I mean, that's not, I'm not going to lie, they're, they're clickbaity because the people I usually talk about are the drama people, which usually are the ones that click the views anyways. <clears throat> but we will see. I mean, I like to stoke the fire. And then just watch it burn. Kind of one of those people. Um, we'll see in the future if that's something that will come up. Um, it might end up being it. Let's plays and stuff like that, but we'll see. I mean, it's kind of one of those. Um, I want to do Pokemon on this channel at some point. Problem is, there's not a lot of. Not a lot of ways I can do it. For the newer stuff without getting it built on video recorder device, which we spend four hundred some dollars to get it, because it's basically buying a 3DS, sending it out to get modified, and then that's another hundred fifty two hundred dollars, and then bringing that back. <clears throat> so for now, I'm probably just gonna hold off on that, figure out a different way. Um. But yeah, eventually I might do some old school Pokemon. That's kind of I want to do something along that line, just because um, 
that's something I've been wanting to do. So, um, I got plenty of games lined up for you guys. It's just it's a matter of sitting down and doing those games. Um, Overwatch is just kind of thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably just continue that as a series because, to be quite honest, I love playing it. And uh, season two will start up soon, and I might just you know end the regular Overwatch playlist or just keep it around just to kind of do it for filler shit. Um, but <clears throat> make competitive Overwatch my number one focus. Um, <clears throat> no Man's Sky right now is still kind of the hot item, and it's something I like doing. It's one of the few games I'm actually enjoying, so, um, despite all the haters out there, they're like, oh my god, No Man's Sky sucks. Uh, it, it's not a bad game. You're just pissed because he promised you a shit ton of stuff that isn't there. Um, <clears throat> and that's the thing, like, pre-orders, it gotta stop. Like, okay, if I'm gonna make one topic on this today, pre-orders just have to stop. That's just not a thing that should be happening. Partly because it's asinine. It's just simply asinine. There's no reason. <clears throat> you don't pre-order. Well, okay. Most cars you don't pre-order. You don't pre-order a fucking car. You don't pre-order your groceries. You don't go, oh, I'm going to put money down and get it later. That's a layaway. That, that, the, the, let's not kid ourselves. Pre-orders are just layaways. You're just holding it off until you can purchase it. Granted, the release date and the time you pick it up are the same exact thing. It's still layaway. It's not any different than anything else. And people got to fucking realize you shouldn't be fucking doing this. It, it, it gives no incentive to the game developer to be like, oh, hey, we could put out a better product now that. No. It, it, it doesn't. It just goes, okay, we can put out a half baked one, and then a couple weeks down, we can patch it up later. There's now less beta testing for. Titanfall 2 because fuck it, they're gonna buy it anyways. Part of the problem with Titanfall 1 wasn't that it wasn't a bad game, it's just there wasn't enough content there and it wasn't enough to keep it going. And this is what will happen with No Man's Sky, this is what will happen with all the Call of Duty games. And it blows my mind, people will go back to them again and again because there's just not enough. To sustain the game. Why is Overwatch doing so well? Because there's enough there. <clears throat> Granted, it's small. But there's enough there. There's enough there to make it interesting, fun, and enjoyable. There's enough storyline lore and stuff to dig into. No Man's Sky? There's not a lot. There really isn't. Call of Duty? Once you get past the campaign, there's nothing left. You just multiplayer. Shoot. Have fun. Everyone's generic. Alright. <clears throat> That's my rant. But anyways. Um, so. It's going well. So. I mean that's where I'm at. So. Um, more stuff in the future. I'll. S spend time. Actually sit down. I might try to do a. Go from a recording on Sunday. To recording on Saturday. And editing on Sunday. That way I spend less time during the week doing stuff. Or, um, see where it goes from the future, because I do other stuff on the weekends in the winter, so the schedule might get a little tight. Um, five videos a week seems to be good right now, I can handle that. Um, we'll see when it hits winter. I mean, I started right as winter ended, and I will be hitting it now, so we'll see. But as always, guys, um, if you do like my videos, do stuff like on them. If you want to see more great content, please subscribe today. As always, keep on gaming, keep on having fun. And let's play.